All right, guys. So welcome to the Off Balance Podcast, uh, COVID-19 edition. Obviously, uh, myself, uh, Val, and Taza, we're online on Skype because we can't be around each other um, since me and Taza traveled recently. And um, Val, uh, Val is at home, right? Yep. Then uh, the, the, the school closed down, right? Isn't it? Yeah, schools are shut down. Gym for shut down. Everything shut down. I'm self-isolating. Obviously, I have access to, to the gym, so since uh, we paid the rent, uh, I might as well use it. Yeah, yeah that's Get a good some life. good training with uh, my kids and my wife. Yeah, that's good. So everybody's training at home, so that's not too bad. Tazan, what's up? Yeah, man, just here, chilling, chilling. We've been, uh, we've been talking a bit off air about me coming down, choking your ass out, and <laughs> taking over your place and living in isolation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and go up, up and train it well. <laughs> After the two weeks. You better Listen, be ready, man. man. I, have a, I have a two-week con- countdown to just get ready and uh, buy myself some uh, nunchuck to get on your level, yeah. right? You're, I'm going to be your professor, man. The nunchuck professor right here. <laughs> you don't want it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Hopefully I stream right, so- right into the screen and this podcast ends right there. Boom. And I can't buy a new laptop because I can't get out. So I'll be screwed. Yeah, you'll get one delivered probably. Yeah, man. Think about it. We're, you guys are gonna have to. You guys are gonna have to prepare for the worst, man. You know what I mean? How do you know how how bad this thing's gonna get? Um. So I think, you know, in my I'm in my opinion, it's hard. It's hard to say, like for for real, how it's gonna happen. But I mean, we we're like a couple of weeks back from what's happening in the in Europe and in China, right? And we saw how bad it's getting over there. So it's kind of a, an idea of how bad it's going to be here in a couple of weeks. Well, how bad is it there? Well, as an example, in Northern Italy, uh, there's like lockdown, like total lockdown. So um, where like you, you have a curfew, you can't really go outside un- unless you're uh, one person of the family can go like for shopping and stuff like that, like at the pharmacies or the grocery stores. But other than that, you're like, completely stuck inside and i think they're using like uh, a potential jail time if you if you're caught like with symptoms outside of your house so uh, in my opinion that's pretty bad you know? yeah that's uh, <laughs> the one side and the other side from what i hear like the uh due to the fact that they reacted not fast enough at the beginning they didn't take it seriously enough uh, the medical system is crashed completely. They so, uh, overwhelmed uh, with cases, and that's why if you look at the stats in different countries, the mortality rate in Italy is higher because people yeah, can, can't get treated, and that's what we're trying to avoid in Canada as well. Yeah, and uh, another thing I feel is like uh, you're saying, like the time of um, of reaction. It's like Canada and the United States took a long time before reacting, and in my opinion. Uh, uh, it, they basically reacted last week on Wednesday and it started from there and now the measure are like starting to be higher so I feel like uh, once they start testing more we might see what's up really exactly. yes they are unfortunately not good for, uh, for my paranoia I looked into uh, like a video with uh, the ma- mathematical analysis of uh, where the guy compared the actual cases versus reported cases and uh, did like reverse engineering based on uh, the numbers in the states currently and uh, so because of lack of testing you can only judge by like let's say mortality rate and if it mortality yeah. rate is one percent you can assume that uh, when the guy got sick or a girl who got sick uh, this time there were let's say hundreds other cases unregistered and uh, then you multiply it by how it uh, exponentially uh, spreads around, uh, the numbers are not good. Like it's, it's really no. tricky. Yeah, it is for sure. Uh, and uh, so for Tazo was asking, like, uh, how bad could it get? Well, if this, like, once they start testing more, that's one of the problem here. I think they don't test enough. Or I don't know if they can't right now, but once they start testing more, we'll probably know what, what's going on and the measure will go with. I'm hoping this thing drags for years. Yeah, why so we can why? live in isolation you like isolation yeah i love it it's the best <laughs> yeah 
Why? Bro, that's basically <laughs> what we do. Imagine, remember when we were at Nikki's for five days and then we're like basically kind of isolated. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, you know, you're gonna go train with the guys. You know, you're gonna like at some point you you have a hope of like you know you can go out and go back to your family and all that stuff. Now, obviously, we're all in Canada uh, with our families, but you know, it's it's kind of scary of not knowing what's gonna happen. Uh, you know, for training for for our Here's daily life. Happen. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna go build a house in the woods. We're gonna put some mats. We're gonna have a sauna. Bring a doctor. Bring some cows. I don't know, man. Bring some chickens. Right? <laughs> no, that's what we're gonna do. We'll just live I'm, in isolation. That's I'm, you can you can make I'm that happen down. without a doubt. You can make that happen. That's the worst case scenario. Yeah. Chilling. Uh, the worst case scenario is let's get more fun. Unfortunately, yeah. but, like, uh, honestly, ideal. one of the like, except for like the overall health situation and all of this, uh, you yeah. see how it feeds the economy. And th this is another scary part. Like for small businesses, you know, how long uh, can people keep on paying rent uh, without income? Uh, yeah, that's a like, that's a tough question. It's personal mortgages. It's the rent. Uh, like let's say. Some people uh, have gyms uh, and uh, they have to pay rent uh, at the gym and there is no classes, there is no customers. I don't know how long it can last. Exactly. Yeah, man. Rough. But listen, here's what we're going to do. We could, um, what was I going to say? We could kick people out once they hit a th certain age. Hey, listen, you got to leave. You're at risk. You know, we, listen, you'll be safer off without, you know. That is like that. a great, great doctor with great advices. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, man. It's you, you don't know what's what's gonna happen, but you know, <clears throat> some people are 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 happy, some people aren't. I just stopped by Fitness Depot and <laughs> business is booming. As you they say, business is booming, my friend. Some places are making some cash out of it, you know. And if it drags, you'll have to, you know, try to find a way to adapt and make some money off of these avenues. You know, I was thinking about about something like if people don't go out there could be like this delivery service that just pops up that just deliver you stuff you know what i mean you just deliver like a body to train with or what if you need a bodyguard you know what i mean like to go out and do your things you to get your deliver, toilet paper you can pay and deliver like a, a, a purple belt or a brown belt or a black belt depends <laughs> on how much you want to get your ass kicked <laughs> exactly <laughs> sterilized <laughs> like a Careful. Yeah, I'll go. Like, like, just deliver a purple bell. I'll go on my bike and like go to your door and kick your ass. I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you 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 could do that, but then you could you could do that, and then like I don't know, if somebody needs needs some food or some medicine and doesn't can't get out of the house, and you're healthy enough. You never know, man. Could be something. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm sure uh, there's uh, like some some people that are like starting to adjust their businesses. Uh, you see a lot of restaurants yeah. that, like they're doing takeout. They used to not do it. Uh, you're seeing a lot of stuff like that. Um, I think like if supermarkets implement like a delivery service, it could be good for them, man. You know what I mean? Like they deliver McDonald's. They could definitely deliver like uh, some avocados and bananas and <laughs> put them in the back and drop them off to your house. It's not that hard. I, I believe there's some there's some uh, grocery stores doing it already. Uh, there you go, man. You got to adapt. Uh, Boom. Yeah. Um, I, I'd like to... Uh, Taza, obviously, we just uh, landed back from uh, from Texas, Dallas, right? So maybe we should do a little, uh, I don't know, a little recap of what happened uh, this weekend because we were supposed to fight on Fight to Win, right, in Dallas. Um, so go ahead, maybe, like, let me know, like, how, how it went for you, maybe, the, like, the timeline of, like, what happened. Yeah, I got sick like a dog on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so um, really sick. Um <laughs> Sounds like right. coronavirus. Bro, what, the day, the day That's we, why you're not coming to my house. <laughs> yeah. The day we um the day we went and had that barbecue, man, that was the worst day for me. So, honestly. So you were flying to Dallas on Thursday, right? Thursday, yeah. Yeah, so you were scheduled to fight Servio Tulio. Yeah. Uh on actually on Third Coast Grappling first. Yeah, we talked about that on the last podcast. How like all that shit went down yeah. because obviously, listen, probably everybody like realized that you know events got canceled, people are canceling stuff, things are closing down. People know that. Um, it's it's gonna be closed. Competitions are getting closed. Gyms are closing. So you know, for for us, it kind of sucks, obviously. But what can you do? 
that yeah. waited out. Yeah, waited out, and uh, uh, we see. we uh, we basically it was a day before, right? That we learned that uh, fight to win wouldn't go true. So oh yeah, we just had that great sushi. Yeah, um, you just landed. landed. We just landed. We just landed. Boom in Dallas. No need for winter coat. Nice weather. Ooh, it was actually not that nice, but it was warmer than where we were. And uh, yeah, boom, canceled. Uh, they closed the the venue. Boom. Yeah, um, fortunately, like said, Daniels was trying to do it, anything to keep it running, even like uh, no crowd and all that stuff. But uh, the venue uh, forced because of the entrance, they forced the closure. So we're left in Dallas without without fighting. Uh, one of our other teammates, um, Ethan, Ethan was supposed to fight too and could not make it happen. So. Um, What do you think is going to happen? Like, uh, you guys are going to reschedule that? or? Oh, yeah. They're going to reschedule everything. But we just don't know when, obviously. Um, it, it's hard to tell. They're going to probably reschedule it maybe on, uh, maybe on like, a who's number. I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. Maybe another event. There's nothing confirmed yet. We, we don't really know. Um, it's up in the air. But Sergio's down to, to do the match. I'm down to have the match against them. Nice. Uh, in the meantime, what I'll, what I'll be doing, I'll be breaking down, you know, like for me, honestly, it's even before this thing happened this week, I was planning on not really training that much. Um, so, so far, it hasn't really hit me that much that, oh, fuck, we're, we're kind of stuck, but it probably will. Um, yeah. We did a bunch. I mean, I did a bunch of competitions leading up to the um, leading up to the one that I was supposed to do on Saturday. There was the quintet and then there was the fanatics. So. You know, I got I got myself a bit of competition time to start off the year. And, um, you know, summer, like we're starting to see what the schedule is going to look like if it's going to take place. So, you know, now would be like a good time to have kind of an off season where you can kind of taper, taper down, like, you know, do some conditioning, keep your keep your, your body strong and then hopefully get back into it by in two weeks if this thing slows down. If not. Then I'm going to start looking for solutions and isolations. I'm not joking about that, man. Yeah. I'm going to go in the woods, get some mats, shower in a river or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing because the spring is well, coming. So it's going to be nice. Yeah. Val will come, man. <laughs> Definitely. My table will appreciate Listen, Val, you should tell us. You know what, man? Every time, Val, this is where you come. This is your time to shine. Anytime you used to tell me about what, what they would do in, in World War II, when in in belarus when they would i don't know man you had some crazy stories what did they used to do to survive you should know how to survive actually you should probably tell us <laughs> during world war ii i wasn't i'm not that old <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, but I, I've heard some stories but <laughs> i'm not that old <laughs> <laughs> all right no, just but... for the record val's not that old guys he's yeah, come on. Still brand new he still kicks ass he still feels like a 20 year old um, still training every day with the fam too he's, he's... yeah It's using his gym well. Lucky bastard. Uh, so Taza, actually, actually yeah. yeah, Taza, I, I got some questions. Uh, like you're saying, like, obviously this week we're taking it maybe a bit more easy. We're talking about off season and all that stuff. But yeah. Um, so how do you plan to, let's say, let's say this shit goes longer, which I believe will, will go longer. I don't want to be pessimistic, but it seems like. Uh, well, you are. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, it seems like it's going to be probably longer. Kidding. We got to get ready, right? So, yeah. what's your plan for training? Like, how how you're like like seriously like uh, if there's I don't know all gyms are closed. There's a curfew and all that that stuff. So, what's your plan for? I'm serious about the isolation thing, man. This this is the only solution. I mean, I I understand you know people will get infected if you walk around and you do this and you do that and you, you go do your laundry and groceries. If I'm in isolation and I'm just surrounded by guys my age that can't get it. Or like, I don't know, we'll like prepare for like, as if it would go for for years. You know what I mean? Um, you can hunt, fish. Imagine eating salmon every day. I'd be down, but there. have you ever Protein done one? and fat, fam. All right. So where, where what's your, is that your plan? You're going to run something? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I'm just, I'm just throwing out ideas. What do you think? What would you do? That's a, it's actually a good question. I, I'm thinking if. Maybe I can like set up some weights at my apartment, maybe set up some mats and maybe have some guys coming over that I know um, we, we do like some one-on-one -on -one or two, like 
small private group, I think it, it could be a possibility as long as no one has symptoms. I think you could, you could run that for a little bit. Um, hard to tell, man. Obviously, we just came back, so we're supposed to be quarantined. I haven't left my apartment since I came back almost. So, Where are you getting your groceries, Epicure? Yeah, I went to Epicure and Provigo, man. Let's go. Shout out to Epicure. Wow, you, probably, you probably go and shop there too as well, don't you? Time, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. You, go, you go all the way from, all the way from no, St. Henry. It's been a while because uh, there is another uh, like Russian store. There's three Epicure, right? Yeah, but there is another one. Uh, uh, it's Bovas, I think it's called. Uh, they have a bakery and... Uh, and I love Epicure. It's like, yeah, Eastern European food, the best, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it reminds me a bit of smiley, uh, like a... Smiley, a, a friendly op- people as well. Like, yeah, to, to be honest, man, some, <laughs> some of them smile. Some of them smile. The cashiers are the worst. They, you'll never see their teeth. But the people in the kitchen, yeah. sometimes they smile. They're pretty chill. Yeah, they're pretty cool, usually. It's like a knockoff version of a Whole Foods. You know what I mean? There's like... <laughs> You know what I mean? It's good though. It's, I love it, but it's not like as as glamorous and as uh, cruelty free, uh, non GM or whatever. Uh, it's just products, food. Get it? You like it? You like it? You don't leave. Boom. I like that about that. And then right next to it, yeah. there's some chef. You're probably feasting on some Indian food too, huh? In these yeah, dangerous I, times, they will probably never close down, man. <laughs> <laughs> nothing closes down, man. There, nothing. Every nothing survives there. Probably they kill it somehow. I don't know. Yeah. Boom. Still making amazing food, probably. The spices kills it, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, the spices kill everything. Yeah. And Val, Val, you're planning you, you're 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 gonna train with the family at the yeah. gym, basically. For now, yeah. And it's close to. Uh, I can get people, out of like, home and get to the gym. Yes. If they walk us down, like in Italy, we have to stay at home. I'll- like whatever uh, i'll chain at home so. do you have some mats at, at home no i, I have rug <laughs> oh, it's it. okay on rug or hardwood it's yeah. it's all the same bro we were drilling we wood. were drilling on the floor in the hotel remember that day yeah. we we dude i literally i was training we were uh, supposed to compete we wake up or we're not competing I called Perez, I'm like, yo, you want to go down, Blaze, just kick it. He's like, yeah, the guys were at the gym. So we're like, hey, let's go meet up, meet up with the guys at the gym. We meet down and then Perez, how, how did it start? We literally had like 25, 30 minutes of drilling that happened on the floor. Yeah, and was so, up. So cool. Straight up, just collab exchange of little things here and there. It was pretty sick, man, honestly. Um, I picked up on some cool stuff from Perez. Excited to try it out. I don't know when I'll get to try it out, but yeah, staying in here. Yeah, that was a cool session. Uh, me and Ethan were lifting, and the boys arrived, and we just finally start drilling on the ground of the the hotel yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, gym. It was it was real nice. Learn some you few tricks, man. You don't need listen. You don't need fancy Fuji mats to drill. You can to drill. It's not that hard. If you want to roll and wrestle and scramble, yeah, it's a little bit harder. You can drill like you don't. You can find like a rug or whatever. You know what I mean? Puzzle mats somewhere in the house. Oh yeah, for sure. There's 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 a way. Where there's a will, there's a way easy there's i know a couple of guys that have mats in their houses but i'm i'm just trying to stay home and not like even like go anywhere right now but in two weeks i think people with mats in their house i can go i don't know like okay yeah. get an airbnb or something i don't we'll see we'll uh we'll have to figure out something to uh uh like you said just be creative to to be honest yeah. man to be honest, it, it could go up to six months. That's how much I can handle without training. Because, you know, ACL surgery, that was six months, no training. Um, it's it's like doing conditioning and watching tape and things like that. I, I've been there, you know, like it feels very similar to post-op. You know what, what I about, mean? Not being able to train. What about seven months? <laughs> seven months? I'll start to freak I, out. I think by, by seven months, we'll have lots of troubles. Uh, like... We'll be worried about other things. Uh, not oh, like, like, I don't know, maybe like uh, food supplies. Yeah, food supplies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hunting, man. We we're. Uh, what do you What do you guys like? Want to go hunt? I have a big ass. This thing John gave me. Um, Let's this see. Could, it. This could cut through a moose. Like, boom! Look. Let's go. All right, valve two is equipped. Yeah, yeah, well, my is so trusted. This is to take the teeth off when they when we kill them. Just there. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Ready for the wild. That's have you ever run? I did. Yeah? Actually, no. back in Belarus, uh, I did. A See? Yeah. I've got some stories. Boom. Go for it. What did you hunt? Uh, duck. 
with a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> My father was a hunter. Like he's, he's still, I guess. He, he yeah. Was... When Vas said I hunt, I was picturing him like killing a bear or something. No, no, no. <laughs> duck. A very peaceful, actually. Uh, They're I'm, lovely. I'm, I'm, you can a duck, man. They're so cute. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I, killed, lovely. I, I killed one by mistake, I guess. Like I, I, huh? I wasn't into hunting that much, but my father was. So he, I enjoyed the walking part. Actually, you, you get into like deep woods uh, somewhere you wouldn't go normally. You know. So, but yeah, no, for real. We could do that. We can hunt. That's that's sorted for food, yeah, water. I enjoyed the walking part, but when it's time to kill, he was not down for it. No, no. I, <laughs> ah, that's only once no. I, I made it like a, you know, just a reaction. I heard a noise. Turned, uh, luckily, it wasn't a human, so I just shot in the, in the woods and uh, yeah. <laughs> Somehow I, yeah. I, I cut the duck. See, that, that's uh, kind of one my only kill. What other concerns do you have other than food? Uh, financially, man. Economics. Fi financially, uh, obviously. So uh, I'm not sure how long uh, the gym can sustain itself without uh, investment. Uh, this, then uh, also, like, how many people will come back and how gradually the people will come back to training after when it's gone? Because uh, also people will have other concerns, financial concerns, whatever it is. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure uh, jujitsu will be such a priority for other people. You know, obviously for us guys, like uh, that's the, the thing we do. Yeah. Mainly, mm -hmm. But for many people, it's not going to be the priority coming back. Do you think that's the right thing, kind of mindset to have? Probably. Like uh, it's something it's I, I, I I consider it well. I hope for the best, but that's gonna be can be a projection too. Like if yeah, it's like a, a possible reality from like some some of the people that are doing jujitsu as a hobby, and if they get let's say lay off from their job or stuff like that, they might be looking for like jobs or or stuff before like trying to train. So let's say it's like a it's like a chain right like if these people they can go to the gym you as a gym owner you're getting like uh you're you're on the receiving end of that obviously if you have less yeah. people come in unfortunately it's not an essential service we're offering right it's uh people will have other things to worry about if it lasts long enough you know? time to time to look for some dishwashing jobs at uh yeah. At a, I don't know, at an airport or something. Shazza always has the great solution. <laughs> Dude, that's it. It's time to, time, to, time to update that resume and start dishing it out, man. Boom, left and right. Who's looking for, who's looking for a dishwasher? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the, the, the financial concern, I, I heard a lot of people saying like uh, they're uh, the, like trying to not cancel their gym membership while the gyms are stopping just to help the gym owners so they can like still be there are you uh do you, how how it's going val right now like do you have guys like uh keeping like uh that ask to keep like their gym membership on uh, there are guys who are asked for this but we are proactively for now we pushed all of the payment cycles to by two weeks for now We'll okay, see good. how it goes. So, uh, I, I, I mean, everybody is in this, you know. So, I want for now, I, I, I want people to be safe, for, yeah, to, to be safe and uh, think about other uh, things, you know. So, that makes we, sense. we're gonna try not to, like, we, we, I, I'm saying try, we, we're not gonna charge anybody who is not paying, so. okay, big, big man, yeah, yeah, you guys are great, but. I could understand if, like, some people, like, uh, say, oh, don't cancel my gym membership just in order to, to like, help you guys out, too, because uh, you, two have, like, uh, fi finance behind your uh, your businesses, obviously. Yeah. I think uh, one of the thing, uh, things I was considering is at some point when, if it gets to, uh, to a really, really bad spot, uh, I don't know, instead of, like, Asking people uh, to pay, I'll, I'll set up some donation uh, 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 button, and if somebody donates, it's gonna help. You know, if not. Yeah, for sure. Like we we'll we'll figure something out, like uh, for you guys, for Mizu to still be there when it's it's all done anyway. So. Um, it sucks, yeah, dude. We were working on a lot of cool stuff before this thing uh, really um, took off. 
uh, some really nice stuff from heisting, some nice back take defenses, a lot of cool leg locks, all these things. I feel like, um, you know, I, you know, when you, when you break a, not a plateau, but you feel like your, your game is completely changing. You know, you're mixing things up. You're doing things differently. I feel like I was at that stage, you know what I mean? Where I'm adding a bunch of really good stuff to my game and really mixing it up with the nice resources. Now, boom, this thing comes at a time where, you know, it's uh, just gotta remember that when I start training and keep working on these things. It's I guess the same thing for the gym as well. Like uh, we had Nizo for now over three years. Yeah, uh, and I kind of me and Jenny we started to feel like things are picking up now. You know, like we broke through some uh, some some you know plateau, and now we, yeah, we, there there is uh, there is a group around the gym. Uh, people are training. Classes started to get filled, uh, no matter what day it is. Uh, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, Gi, no Gi, uh, it had a bunch of people started to, to, to be regular in the gym, you know? Uh, yeah. And now it's, uh, it's kind of a tough to. On a positive note, like uh, I don't want to ask to focus on the negative part. I'm really enjoying the break, <laughs> in a way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm forced, uh, I'm not sure if uh, I would take a real vacation at this point, but now. I kind of can chill uh, a little more. I still have my, my, my IT job, so it still occupies me a little bit, but still, compared to what I had before, now I have a lot of free time. Is is your IT job affected at all by this thing or no? Uh, for now, like, it, 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 strangely, nobody on this side is talking about anything related to the virus. I think everybody is hanging on and uh, kind of... Try, tries not to scare off uh, uh, things. I, I'm not sure what, what, what the chance is. Nobody discusses anything related to the, to the virus at all. So that's probably a good sign. It means it's not really affected. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's, it's going to come to this. So I, I have a contract job, so I'm not permanent. So I bet contracts will go first, as it usually happens. It's the easiest one to lay off. And then, yeah. So we'll see. Well, yeah. hopefully, hopefully everything uh, goes well, and at least, like, uh, like you said, you can use this time to uh, recover. And you having free time is a yeah. is a new one. Exactly. <laughs> I, yesterday, I played a video game. You know. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah I played yeah. with uh, Tree from uh, Trains with uh, Luciano Uchi. Uh, Would you guys uh, play uh, League of Legends? That's what I heard. I heard the name. Yeah. Uh, from Keenan on his podcast, and uh, I checked it out. It's a free one, and it's a fun one as well. Yeah, hey, I, I've played that game for a couple of years back. Uh, that's what I was telling you on the group chat the other day. Uh, maybe I'll come and uh, let's do it. Let's do show it. you a bit uh, how you guys uh, how you guys can improve. <laughs> yeah, Chi is uh, as well. He's playing for several years. I think he's like, nice. also a black belt in this. So he, <laughs> he gave me a first try in League of Legends yesterday. Uh, like... <laughs> that's it. Damn. Um, yeah, I might, I might get myself a. I don't know, man. I got no. Don't have no video games here. Like, what do you, what do you play it on your computer? Yeah, it's yeah a, you can uh, play you on your Mac. Mac. Can play it on your laptop. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, and it's a strategy game, so you can have an excuse of mental, uh, mental, mental, work. mental, working, mental yeah. uh, finger eye coordination. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You got finger it. Finger eye coordination. Um, you, you guys want to know why? Um, that coronavirus and the, the whole thing is so big. I'm just going to give you a good example. Today, for the first time, we got Val behind the camera. Yeah. And it took a, a world crisis to have Val behind the camera. That's how big this shit is. That's how, that's how insane. Yeah. So how- we know we know it's going down right now because Val is, is there and he's talking to us. Yeah. You guys can see the man, the man behind, the, our Jamie, basically. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Boom. I hope you guys uh hope you guys uh are grateful for the, the corona situation. Yeah, just to see Val. Right. It. It's worth um, it. Yeah, dude, this 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 whole thing is uh is really different. I I wonder like like obviously we all have the same question how long it's going to take and how we're going to figure it out, but I'm sure like one of the great thing with humans is their their resilience, right? So like and and the ability to com- communicate and like get together. So I'm sure soon enough we're gonna be drilling in someone's basement somewhere. Yeah. Man, um, listen, there's 
like I say, the isolation thing for me is is a is a uh, is a um, option that I'm legit considering. We'll be getting in touch with the with the with the people uh, concerned the very shortly in two three weeks. Yes. Put this thing in place. Uh, camp. Boom. Competitors, guys. With by the way, why are people fighting over toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you know the funny thing is like I, I feel like running water will still be there for a while. So worst case, you know, you can always uh we got, snow outside, man. we got so many things you could wipe your butt with, man. It's it's yeah. no concern. The uh the <laughs> you know what? That lady, that lady um that we had in flushing, she she knew all along, man. She had it, it's like she planned it. She knew. Yeah, she. That's why she, she didn't want to give you at first. So, those of you who didn't listen to our last podcast, uh, the the last episode, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, um, out we were staying in a, in an Airbnb with nothing. When I say nothing, there's chopsticks, plastic forks, plastic knives, a pan, nothing else, literally, <laughs> or like two plates, two plates. Hey, don't have two plates. Boom. <laughs> that's it. I, we go do groceries, and then I'm like cooking. There's no salt. There's nothing. Not a thing. Not, not even like pepper. Nothing. So I go. We knock on the neighbor's door. We're like, "Hey, can we have, can we have some salt." She comes back with toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that she knew. She knew like, "Oh, I don't understand what he's saying, but he probably is, you know, pre- pre- planning ahead and asking." But, but it was, you know, you know, this story. The story is great every single time. It doesn't yeah, matter. It like, gets better. I feel we should just add it on every podcast. Yo, by the way, two podcasts ago. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, what about you guys? Did you start prepping by uh, buying some groceries or what's the idea? Man, uh, like if I, if I really had to pick a couple of foods to keep at the, at the house, I'd go with oatmeal, protein powder, Uh, cans of like fish, just protein, fat, a bunch of that stuff, you know, um, things that don't go bad and bro, we'll, we'll survive. We'll survive. And my God, you're gonna help. <laughs> What yeah. about you, Val? Yeah, crab loading, like pasta, rice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, Val is gonna be like, you, you know, <laughs> you know that bag of chips, are all that thing, like that. Yeah. It's like a brand of chips. I forget the name. You're gonna be that guy. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Yeah, Humpty. yeah, Humpty Dumpty, exactly. <laughs> oh, Val, did you start uh, buying some more groceries for the family and you? I did actually a, a little bit yeah. in, uh, ahead of time when I started to see uh, empty stores uh, in Italy, in other countries. Uh, like having four people in the family to take care of. Yeah, if, if you think about those things, you know. Oh yeah, I, for sure. I, I didn't go and out and buy, buy, to buy all the yeah me too actually i uh, obviously like you have a family you you guys are four so it's a bit different but for myself i i went and like taza was saying basically uh, more oatmeal than usual more rice uh pasta uh, uh fish uh fish. Some, <laughs> some protein powder some milk <laughs> milk uh, yeah milk Okay. But I was I was surprised, man. Oh, like, because obviously we get we got back in the middle of the start of this whole crisis in in Canada at the very the least. Middle I guess. of the start of the end of the beginning of this thing. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Taza, for uh, always having my back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man listen hey you guys if you're listening to this on audio you need to watch it because some some things happen like without saying so if you watch it it'd be it'll be make more sense otherwise you'll be wanna, if you guys want to watch my uh my crack in between yeah the- I guess. Let's go, P.O. that's it done uh, So I was just saying, basically, yeah. Usually, like my my grocery probably <laughs> Taz is dying. I love it. <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah. So basically, usually, like per week, my grocery it's maybe 80 bucks, 100, and dude, I caught myself spending 300 bucks on just stuff basically that I eat usually, but I just decided to pack a bit more so I don't have to go all the like all the time. You know, it's mostly that, so I don't have to expose myself in like places or since I'm back too from like, like traveling, I'm supposed to be careful. So it's a, 
it's a crazy time we're living in, but hey, I have a lot of food now. Can yeah. get fat. Let's go. Done. Um, that's that's amazing, man. The uh, the um, the supermarket that I went to wasn't that empty, to be honest, man. Like, really? Yeah. I don't you. know. Like, what about you, Val? Like, yeah, the just uh, you've been? just stop by uh, IGA and uh, you see some uh, canned food the shelves uh, a little emptier than usual, yeah. but it's not uh, completely empty yet. Even toilet paper, like I, 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 I won't buy the toilet paper, and I didn't, yeah, thank I, I didn't buy it. You know, like uh, it's available. Uh, Listen. If it comes down to toilet paper, I have so much gear that I don't need, so many shirts that I don't need. I can slice them up in little squares, man. I'm good for, I'm good for an plus eternity. It, plus, it's elastic, you know, the rash guards. Oh, yeah, my more yeah. Area. You should probably <laughs> the instructional on this. Boom! That's it, just... <laughs> we'll just use nunchucks for that. You'll just tape it around the little piece of wood and you're good to go, man. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Maybe toilet paper is going to be the new scarce uh, asset to have, right? I mean, the dollar soon is going to be worth like we're, we might we might use the dollar for for toilet paper very soon. So that's amazing. Who knows? Before Bitcoin, we'll use that. Yeah, most probably because they just printed two two trillion for the market. So they did. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. It's, uh, so you got to start printing that money. What's for, that? What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean is basically you you like you don't know uh, on the market they, they can add uh, uh, dollars anytime so you don't really like your dollar lose value over time because they're just printing it and adding it they're trying to get the stock market to go back up because right now it's crashing um, obviously I'm not an uh, expert in economy but I've been following it for quite a while and it doesn't look good right now for everybody that's saving. I'm sure uh, you've seen your your bank account. I was speaking to my parents recently. They're like, they're, it's crazy, man. I'm sure Val Val has seen some some of his stuff go down a bit. Yeah, yeah everything, everything, including Bitcoin, I think. Yeah, Bitcoin has go down at least by a half. A lot of people had margins in it, so obviously it's going a bit down. But read between the lines, people. Read between the lines. Down. Now's a good time to put some cash in it. <laughs> Yeah, we should we should uh, for the support section we should start putting our uh, Bitcoin wallet in there. Uh, so yes, guys, guys <laughs> are so like excited. <laughs> and you want to support a grappler who's gonna be broke for a while, like Pio and myself, that are heavily impacted by this thing. We're gonna leave our wallets. In the <laughs> oh feel yeah. Feel free to uh, feel free to give us some bitcoins, right? Yeah, that would be awesome. We could add that at some point. Yeah, if you guys, hey, listen. Um, we could we could do a deal. If, they get, if, they, if you guys can leave in the comment section what you want in return, breakdowns, techniques, privates, something we can help with online, you can let us know. And yeah, this was a plan. This is literally on the fly right now where I'm saying this. So we're, uh, we're doing this on air. Yeah, right now. It's live, organic. <laughs> wow, Jeff, Bitcoin. I do. You do? Yeah. I knew. I knew it. What kind of question is that? Of course you do. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, that was a smart yeah, answer. You. I think anybody who has a multi-tool has a Bitcoin as well. Ah, it's funny, I have a multi-tool too. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be curious about the, like, uh, how many people have both. Um, it's for sure a correlation. <laughs> we should, we should do a, a, a poll just to see like like what are the chances or the odds that someone who owns Bitcoin owns a multi-tool. <laughs> um, so listen, I went to Fitness Depot today and you know... I saw, I saw, I got a kettlebell. I got a 45 pound uh, kettlebell. Damn. Turning uh, at home? Chilling at home. I'm going to do some Turkish get ups, some swings, some squats. Um, dude, there's literally, this is like rehab for me. I was doing a lot of rehab home, you know, like single leg pistol, single leg deadlift, stability work. I got a skipping rope to get cardio going. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I looked at bikes. It's 300 bucks and. Man, I want to see if I can wait out a bit and see if it's worth buying or like a stationary bike that I can. You could probably go for a run too. It's starting to get nicer in Montreal. Yeah, that's no. always an option. Yeah, running's not bad. You have a bike, right? You could yeah. bike. Yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. I I'm gonna start uh, biking uh, everywhere too, cause I don't I don't want to take the public transport right now. Dude, you wanna so, you wanna go for rides, man? We can go for rides if you want. I can. I'm down. Let's do it. Just Just go go buy a real bike. Just keep distance. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, one meter, this guy, one this guy can't keep up with me, man. Don't worry. He'll be he'll be way behind me. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We'll see. We'll see. We'll go. Dude, I, some, some... You, you don't want that smoke, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Val, do you have a bike? Yeah, Maybe yeah. you can. All right. We, we can we go just race. Out training. Yeah. We can go race the uh, the track. And dude, it's great for your legs. It's great for your knees. It's excellent. It's an excellent workout. If you guys want, there's that uh, on the Mont Royal. There's a uh, Camille Hood, the fucking huge like. Uh, yeah. It's not huge, but it's like very steep. You know, you gotta go sprint there. It's like a we'll, sprinting we'll the whole sprint time. Sprint downhill. We'll sprint I, downhill. Let's do I'm that. Down. <laughs> Listen, like I figure instead of buying a stationary bike and summer's right around the corner, why not buy a normal bike and then just go bike? Yeah, that's why that's what I'm thinking. It's it's always right. nicer outside, you know, unless it's raining, it's really nice. So I mean again these bikes where you're like hunched over and then you gotta wear these like tight spandex and these things super tight on your butt. That's you what know. I have. Oh, you have that? <laughs> yeah. Like this I have the whole kit. It's like a wrestling singlet, but for bikers. Yeah, actually probably take it out and put it right now you want to see that no fuck that (laughs) to be honest if you get good at this you could be a professional like biker racer so you can i'm gonna listen it's not the first time i switch sports man (laughs) i'm gonna stick to jujitsu for now (laughs) you can can switch but listen uh, it i mean i used to play soccer and i never would have imagined in my life that one day i wouldn't be doing it you know what i mean now i'm talking like hours like Doing like side training with my buddies, and like I never thought that one day I wouldn't be playing soccer. And then like I haven't touched the ball in I don't know how many years. Yeah, you know what? It's like um, you 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 might buy a bike, Taza, and just like start liking it so much, you're just gonna switch, and yeah. then uh, you'll have a podcast on, on cycling. And um, I'll, I'll still train. I'll still train, but um, you know, like if if I'm making decent cash with biking. And like, it's nice to do. Like, I'll, I'll just, you know, switch. That's it. You gotta adapt, man. You know, yeah. Val, it's it's going, it, it it's very quickly. Val, Val, make sure in the show notes to to put something like uh, Taz is thinking about changing career. Exactly. That's gonna be the title. Career <laughs> switch. <laughs> part time biker, part time dishwasher. Get some. That's you, baby. Hmm. <laughs> The all right. to keep the upper body and and like you know all my arms and all that working and the bikings to keep the legs nice. Not for sure. It's I think there's so many ways to stay fit, stay in shape, and just like uh, the only thing is like trying to improve at jujitsu. There's like I think taping, like we said, you can tape and like watch a like do breakdowns and stuff like that. Then trying a buddy to to drill, uh, trying yeah. to find a buddy. I mean to to drill and then yeah. Listen, if if. Like I say, man, people's skills, yeah, for sure. They're your your, your skill set isn't gonna go down. Like you no. might be a little less sharp, but once you start training, it comes back. I'm telling you, man. Five months without training. I mean, I was teaching and drilling, yeah, of course. But when I got back, I didn't feel like I was completely lost. I was a little scared of certain positions. Yeah. But that only goes to say that that proves my point that your jujitsu actually doesn't disappear. Like you'll come back and your skills will actually still be there. Yeah, and I said it often. I, I I believe like when you came back, I thought I thought you were better than when you left because you learned something differently. You know? Yeah, I don't know, man. I was doing things like just better. I had an open mind. Certain positions, I was playing things differently. So some time off can actually make your game better. And uh, yeah, obviously watching instructionals, drilling is good. Taking some time off, and you come back, you feel pretty sharp. Trust me. Um, yeah, for sure. You're not. I, I'm not saying like you. You have to do it to become better. I'm just saying it's not the end of the world. You can still kind of improve a little bit. Yeah, there there's different ways to improve, I'm sure. Um, I mean, it's, not, right, but it's not only physical, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I think, a mix of everything together and staying fit and then having the mind right and, and, and talking to your friends in order to maybe find a way to drill during that time. Yeah. And then it's a wrap. You're good to go. Yeah, um, I'm serious about the bike thing though. We should we should try to yeah. when it's nice like now. The sun is shining. Um, I'm in a basement. It's not that cold. Yeah, um, it's not that bad outside, man. Maybe like a week or two from now, we could go for like hour ride bikes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be nice for sure. It's gonna be sick. Definitely stay in shape. Race you. Um, definitely. Let's do some sprints. Get some of that smoke, fam. You actually got one of your worst injuries was actually biking, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, a couple of years back, when I I I think I was a blue belt by then. I, I just had started jiu-jitsu like a 
not even a not even a year in i think and and i had a terrible biking accident um at a pretty high like high speed and uh yeah just almost almost died basically i i fell over broke my clavicle had multiple like uh my hit <laughs> uh hit the pavement a couple of time my head i mean uh and it was the only day i was not wearing my helmet so i almost paid for it pretty bad so but hey came back how did was there something on the road that you tripped or you yeah going exactly i was with a group of friends and we're going pretty i like, got a pretty high speed and uh and there was something on the road uh i think a, like kind of a pothole and i hit it cuz i had some friends in front of me so i couldn't really see it come in and then i hit it and just went in front of my bike like bar over at like 40 kilo per hour so Damn. so would you would you ride like a little further now if you were to do it again uh it really depends on the road i would say like uh let's say if you go on the track nice clean road you can like ride pretty close i would say like any like street in montreal or any street that i don't really know i'm taking a bit more like further step just to You see what's happening, you know, and being more concentrated on the on the road. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, we can do that then. No Have problem. Have you been hit by a car in Montreal? I've been hit two or three times by car in Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? You, not, you? not once, me man. Not no, once. Yeah. One, one re- re- rear-ended by a car. So the guy, I, I'm not sure where no he way. was looking. He just kicked me uh, from the the back. Uh, Damn. The other one uh, was uh, going down. That was my mistake in big part. Maybe 10 years ago it was. I was going I'm down uh, Avenue du Parc uh, yeah. towards downtown. And it's a pretty steep slope. It was slope like you're going fast. Yeah. 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 The guy yeah. cut me over. And, uh, so there are bike lanes now. But I think back in time it was only one side bike lane or something like this. It's mm. my excuse uh, again. But, uh, yeah. The guy the thing just is- cut me sharp. Yeah, the thing is when you uh when you you bike in a big city like Montreal, it's like you have to bike for others, you know? Like like cars a lot of them they don't they don't do their they don't check uh their um how do you call that anglement like a uh, blind spot. Blind spot. Yeah, they don't, don't check their blind spot. So so and they turn right so they can turn onto you. So you have to always like bike with like awareness around so it's avoid uh, port calls as well and the, yeah, the drivers there's a avoid lot of port calls. A lot of things to avoid: viruses, buttholes, and cars. You know, that's a lot. What were you saying? <laughs> What? <laughs> Dodging viruses? What? No, I was, I was just joking, saying like, yeah, right now we have a lot of things to avoid in Montreal, like buttholes, cars, and viruses when you're on your bike. You know? Yeah. Um. What's it called? I'm sure there are some places that are still training, man. Like some gyms haven't haven't closed. But you know what's scary about that is that if like they they found out that some gyms are open training, apparently they can get fined. Like it's a pretty big fine. I'm not sure know? about uh, Quebec. I think in Ontario since this morning uh, they announced uh, the uh, whatever uh, emergency. measures. Yeah. So now now it, it should be a fine, I think. In Quebec, I still kind of half uh, voluntarily closure. Yeah, they're basically asking for people to uh, to follow uh, what the government is asking. But at some point, yeah, they might they might put some fines and like obviously, like in Italy, we're start talking about jail time, so that would suck. Um, yeah, that's that's wild. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes, right? In the couple of weeks, we're at the beginning here. Yeah, what's it called? Then how what's it what's it like in New York? Do you know what's the deal with New York? Are they are they like putting anything up like are, are they shutting it down? I I like, to be honest like people send me these articles uh, oh shit look at this. Like, I don't know how legit it is, you know what I mean? Like how do you know what's true what's not true like on Twitter or somebody tweets something and you say uh, oh the mayor said this, the mayor said that. You don't how do you know if it's legit or not? Well, the the Best way is obviously doing some research uh, on your own. Like when you're not sure about uh, like certain things, it's easy to, since it's political. When it's when a decision is made politically, it's it's easy to go make the research about what what has been said or not. But obviously, there's some fake news out there. Uh, but for instance, my my sister is actually stuck in Guatemala right now because uh, they closed the airport, the borders. Uh, she was trying to get to Mexico, maybe. 
and they couldn't uh, they closed the border even before she made it so she ended up now she's stuck for at least two weeks in uh, in Guatemala and I was uh, helping her out yesterday on the computer trying to find flights and stuff like that and and there's news all over the place but like when she was telling me, let's say, oh, the president has shut down the airport. So I would go and make sure like the news was right at what time. And you can do your own research, obviously, but it's always being critical of what you're reading, right? It's some stuff makes no sense, but at the same time, you can only go with what we know. Then at the end, is what the government doing all real? Then like that's conspiracy theory. You don't know if it's real or not. Then you can go further with that, uh, which I don't really have an opinion on it right now. But we're going with what they're saying, right? Like if they say we got to close down because there's a viruses, you you kind of have to do it at least to protect other people. Yeah. So what do you think your sister is going to end up doing? What's the? Is she like stuck well, there? Yeah. Now she's stuck, but at least she like she went back to uh, Antigua, which is a, a city near the airport that uh, she's been two before and that uh, she's staying at a hostel there and uh, she she gathered with some other people connecting with people from all over the world that are in the same, same situation as her and uh, she she has shelter she has food so everything is fine man uh, it's just time now uh, I believe like we said it could take two weeks it could take a month or two so the biggest concern is financially as long as she's like in security you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. Good point. Financially, as long as that's good, that's taken care of. I, I can't see what what could go wrong. Um, yeah. Only time will tell. But uh, as far as like New York City, I know they're like shutting it down pretty like more and more. Uh, obviously, Hansel Gracie is closed now. Uh, there's a lot of gyms around. Like every every gym's pretty much is closed by now. Um. Yeah. I mean. I guess some little groups I see, I'm not going to name who, I still see like some people training, to be honest. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like like there's small gathering that are doing like even the, I believe on Flow Grappling, I was listening to uh, Levi was saying uh, with Marillo, what they're doing is like they're taking like groups of two to four people. They're doing some live training. But if one of the person from that group has symptoms, then they just like everybody get quarantined. So it doesn't like go to another group or s- stuff like that, which is one way right to do it um i as long as it, your your gym is not open to the public and then you make your own choice by trying to maybe like have small groups that you know the people and you're you're trying to contain not the end of the world i believe but uh it's 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 a like a judgment call every time right exactly so uh, i had quite a few people asking me if they can use a gym or can train with me at the gym and so on and so uh, generally, to avoid any exceptions, uh, the answer is no. Because yeah. it's hard to, to choose because I, I'd like to train with everybody. Like, I, yeah. I, I'd love to train non stop with any, any person uh, coming in the gym. But, uh, well, you made your choice, right? Yeah, exactly. So, if you want to, like, there, there, there is a reasoning why we chose to close before I even it was advised by the government, right? So, yeah. We want to, to help uh, slow this thing down. Well, Which is a good decision. Yeah, that sounds like. Uh, I think we can survive like... by at least not training for two weeks. Like everybody. Of course. Can. Majority of people is not tra- uh, are not training in every day, right? So it should be. Yeah. Okay. Just we're a passionate individual, so often exactly. we like uh, we like jujitsu so much. But at the at the end of the day, we're gonna recover. Your body, Val, has free time, which is uh, probably the thing he hasn't had in forever. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Last time. So there's a, we can make the better of it. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to check. I'm going to go start shopping for bikes and uh, we'll, uh, we'll link up for these rides, man. Yeah. Actually, I think we went, we went over like a couple of stuff. Uh, obviously it was a bit on, on the fly podcast. We're all quarantined at our, at our house, but good to talk to you guys. Uh, maybe we could uh, go ahead and talk about the support section in those times of, uh, of support. <laughs> those times where we need the support. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so let's thank our sponsor. Like, uh, obviously, I'm wearing the new drip from Roll Forever. You guys can see on the screen, right? Uh, we have the new logo. Uh, Betty from Roll Forever. She's uh, she's keep, keep hustling, uh, bringing out new stuff. Uh, the website is almost done, and we're going to have, like, a nice platform for people not only to shop, but to, like, participate in the company. 
So, and she's been supportive since the beginning. Uh, Betty, big thank you. Next up, Taza, who we got? We got, we got, well, Val, we got Val by, by the screen. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I wish you could go there and train. We'll have to wait. Uh, scramble, uh, never compromise quality, guys. These guys make top quality stuff. You buy it once, you, you won't need to buy it, uh, another one because it's like ripped or something. It'll, it'll yeah. last. It's good stuff. Uh, Physiomentum. Yeah, big yeah. shout out to Physiomentum. You haven't been traveling and you're not showing any symptoms. Their gym downstairs is open for patients that have injuries. So don't just turn up to train. Get uh, get treated if you have any injuries and you can just go and train now. If you're in Montreal and listening to this, Google them, check out where they are. They're not far on the West Island. Yeah, and, and I believe... Uh, um, I believe uh, Physiomentum is still running with uh, patients, obviously, that have no symptoms and that are not uh, needed to be quarantined or emergency. So they're still running a bit. It's very close right now. But, like, if you are uh, if you got hurt or anything, it's it's one of the best places to go right now in Montreal. Yeah. Um, that's it. Uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, guys, hope you enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section what yeah. you would want in exchange for – Cheeky bitcoins, um, <laughs> make it happen. We'll put our wallets down there. Uh, any, any, uh, anything else? You let us know. There's gonna be gonna be released on all the audio platforms: YouTube, la 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 blah blah blah, and um, Reddit as well. Subscribe, share. And yeah, we'll try to we'll try to get some. Uh... Some breakdown done maybe uh, for everybody. So because everybody has a lot of time at ha at, uh, at home, so we'll try to keep you guys entertained a bit. All right. So yeah, and I'm we finally to, got Val on there. Yeah, I'm trying to please let, let us know if you want us to come in more often uh, during this uh, forced break. Maybe we'll try yeah. to to record uh, this type of sessions more often. Yeah, um, I'm gonna try to break down my matches that happened on fanatics they were pretty cool apparently yeah. i watched some of them there was things that i didn't even know i was doing that i kind of saw by re-watching my matches which is pretty always pretty cool too bad i can't test that out but yeah it'll stay in my brain i'll save for later and that's about it guys enjoy uh, enjoy the vacation enjoy the break eat well stay healthy do your squats um stay safe get your functional training in stay clean and uh, that's it. Safe in it. All right. All right.